This is Share the Vision, presented by the Resource Center. A discussion of the programs and services of the Resource Center and about issues related to individuals with disabilities. Today, we are in a gorgeous setting at Camp Anayasa. Steve Watterson, Community Relations Director at the Resource Center, will now take the microphone and do the show while I go sit by the lake. Dennis, if you want to do that, go ahead, because it's a beautiful evening. I better do my work, and we could share this, Steve, and then we could both spend a little time by the lake. Explain to the listeners why we have assembled here on this beautiful Sunday evening, and I'll say it's the 12th of August, 2018, here at gorgeous Camp Aniasa. Well, once a year, dozens of people with disabilities at the Resource Center and our staff come out here to Camp Aniasa for three days of fun and excitement, and this is day one. So people have just arrived earlier this afternoon, and we're getting ready for the traditional bonfire. This is a camp that has some history, tradition, and some community support. And I want to make sure that we mention that now and return to those themes from time to time during the course of the show. Yes, for the bonfire, we get some money from the Rotary Club and a fund that I think is at the Community Foundation. So each year we get some folks from Rotary Club and Community Foundation who come out here for the bonfire. And uh, we're lucky to have some music going, and we're going to have a lot of people up dancing. And then there's an exciting uh, historical recreation of the history of Chautauqua Lake. So it is always a uh, a big hit with the campers and the camp staff. You have uh, set up the next person for me to speak to here. Introduce this next guest to me. This is Karen Silsley. Karen's in charge of TRC Campers. Karen, hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Fine. Give us a little bit of your history with this camp. Just over the years, I've become more involved, and now myself and Kathy Constantino co-chair this week of camp. How many years has it been happening out here? Uh, A little while? We were trying to figure that out the other day. This has got to be close to the 10th year. How many? Okay, so 11 years. Jane Young chimes in, the photographer from the other side here, to say it's at least 11 years. Yep. And if we stay long enough, we can make it 12. No, I'm done. <laughs> well, and I, I repeat, it is a gorgeous setting as you and I stand and look out over Chautauqua Lake on this beautiful August evening. It certainly is. What's the structure of this? And I guess perhaps more importantly, the reason why people who would ordinarily be involved in one way or another at TRC facilities elsewhere in the county gather here for four days. It's just a chance for some folks to come out and go camping, and it's run just like their typical summer program. We have rotations every day with arts and crafts, boating, swimming, horses. It's a typical camp. One might expect that this could present some challenges for persons with disabilities, does it? Um, sometimes just fatigue. It's a lot of walking, but they all, we all, the camp staff are awesome that from Anyasa, and just everybody works together and makes it work for everybody. I don't know that we've said this to this point in the program, but we should. That Camp Anyasa is uh, a YMCA camp operated by the Y in Jamestown, and they are uh, gracious to arrange to allow you to bring this uh, TRC camp here every year. Right, and they have 13 staff that have stayed on. Their camp season ended Saturday, and there are 13 staff that have stayed on just to help with TRC camp. Some actually didn't work this summer, but came back to work these three days because they, the camp staff of Anyasa just love working with the TRC folks. The, uh, one thing I want to check out with you, Karen, before we move on to anybody else here, and that is th- this is Camp Anyasa, but does the camp experience that the Resource Center is presenting here have a name of its own? We just call it TRC Camp Anyasa. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't some other uh, romantic or wistful name that no, we were missing just, here. No, nope. TRC Camp Anyasa. <laughs> well, thank you for your uh, introduction to TRC Camp Anyasa, and uh, thank you for your effort to uh, make this possible. I would presume that there's a lot more than four days of work that goes into getting uh, ready for a this. A little bit, but now it kind of runs itself. Luckily, it just kind of happens now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, look, look who just scrolled I over. I know. The Rotary. Randy Sweeney is a member of what's known as the Noon Rotary Club in Jamestown. Randy, nice to see you here at Camp Aniasa. Boy, uh, it's just such a gorgeous evening. I uh, couldn't think of a better place to be right now as I'm standing here looking out over a very calm uh, Chautauqua Lake. Talk to me about the Rotary Club that meets Monday at noon at the Robert H. Jackson Center and the role that your club has in this camping event. 
Well, this takes us back, you know, back into the 1980s where family um, established the Wendy Sharp. It was called at that time the Handicap Camp Scholarship at the Chautauqua Region Community Foundation. That was to help assist individuals with disabilities to go to camp. Over these, these decades, obviously, the ability for an individual with disabilities to attend a camp, the rules and regulations have changed a great deal. Now, this is a, uh, a project that the Resource Center has had for the last, I'm not sure how many years. We're thinking coming. 11 or 12. Yeah, and the fund at the foundation, through the Rotary Club, provides a significant amount, almost a total amount, of the uh, of, um, those funds that are needed for this, those funds that are not raised through other means, and uh, just delighted to be able to provide this opportunity for this resource center client base. You just see what an important time, how special this is. And I hear the stories, and you probably have heard of how we're Xing off the calendar, waiting for this week, this time to come up here. And I'm just hopeful that the weather will continue as it has. And uh, they'll have just a a glorious time enjoying uh, this time in August. Suffice to say, if I could summarize, that the Rotary Club, together with the Chautauqua Region Community Foundation, and you are its immediate past executive director, have together created a fund that allows campers to come here by sustaining the expenses of their trip here. Yeah, that's uh, exactly true. And, and, you know, thankful for the Sharp family that created the fund, but there have been a a couple Rotary members over the years that have left money through their state, and that has made such an impact for the available funds through the uh, the special fund at the Community Foundation. I'm glad I could catch you for a few moments here. Randy, enjoy the evening. Well, Dennis, thanks for this opportunity. We are at Camp Aniasa for Share the Vision. This is TRC Camp Aniasa. A number of people are around right now, but here's one camper who might be able to share a little bit of her experience here. Hello. Hello. I just, I did some boning today. Well, let's find out who you are first. People want to know what your name is. Brenda Carlson. Hi, Brenda. And uh, have you been to camp here before? Yes, I've been here six straight years. Six straight years. Yep. Do you look forward to coming back? Yes, I am looking forward to come back. What is the best part of camp, or what are the parts that you were really looking forward to? Everything from from fishing to boating, pontooing, swimming, and... So you get to go fishing while you're up here? Yep, and we also get to play basketball, too. But to play, play on a basketball court. We do stuff like... Yeah, right there. And, and not, projects and tie-dye shirts, too. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of fascinated by this fishing part of it, though. Uh, do you, yeah. Have you actually caught some fish? Only once. Was it fun? Yeah. Exciting? Yeah. Okay, and what about the tie-dye shirts? Do you have some design in mind for this year, I'm you think? I'm not sure what I'm going to be kind of... That's what I'm going to be doing. Now, Brenda, just so people can have a better idea as to what your life is like, for the rest of the time when you're not at camp, where do you live? What do you do? Let's talk a little bit about the other aspects of your life. Well, I'm currently in the workshop. I'm doing certain stuff, and they take workshop. We take, they take us out to, to, to Lakewood Methodist Church to, to clean, to get paid. We get paid cleaning. Oh. We do AML and recycling and stuff. So you're busy all the time. Yeah, most likely. So what's harder or what's more work, being at camp or doing your regular day-to-day work? Both. Well, they're about the same then. Yeah. Well, have a wonderful week at camp and uh, enjoy your time here. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Steve Watterson has found a camper who's in his first day of camp ever here. Uh, You want to introduce me, Steve? I just met Jacob Vasquez. Jacob, how you doing? Hi, Jacob. Now, with Jacob, you've never been to camp before. No. Wow. How do you like it so far? It's pretty good. Yeah. Now, yeah. this is just the first day, first yeah. evening. What have you ha- had the opportunity to do? Anything so far? Um, we just, like, we go over there and we, we sing, you know. Sing songs? Yes. Oh, really? You like that part? Yeah. Now, are there other things that you know are going to happen this week, Jacob, that you're interested in or excited about? I, I don't know yet, you know. Just kind of... 
riding along with it. Yeah, right? yeah. Did you go out on the boat today, Jacob? Yes, I did. Oh, really? What was that like? It was awesome. It was nice and dry. Now, describe the boat for me. Big boat, small boat? It was like a big boat, like... Pontoon boat? Yeah, yeah. No. Did you drive the boat? No, no. The org, uh, in the Wester did it. Oh, okay. Somebody from the camp. Yes. Okay. Now, Jacob, when you're not at camp, what do you do the rest of the time? Where do you live? Just tell me a little bit about your life otherwise. Um, I live in Westfield. Mm-hmm. And I just, like, we do stuff out there, you know, like go bowling a lot and... Enjoying life then? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time, uh, Jacob, and have a great week at camp. You too. Now, as is often the case at camp, they've just sounded the sound and we're supposed to do something. What are we supposed to do? That is assembly that we have to go to. It makes sure everybody's at camp and everybody's accounted for. We play some music to get them go to get everybody a little hyped up for the next uh, part of camp. So we're going to go to a campfire, so everybody's going to get a little dance going on. And so then... I just follow you then? Yeah, definitely. Oh, by the way, we might tell the radio listeners, who are you? My name is Jennifer Van Gilder. Um, I've been at camp for a long, long time. I started as a camper to an LIT in training, now to a staff member, and I love being here at camp. So Now, when you say you're at camp... I'm going to just walk past the music on the speaker here and then continue the question. So. Are you here during the regular Y camp part of this as yes. well? Yes, I am. Okay, well, that, that just ended, but that goes on for a couple months every summer? Oh, yeah, definitely. It starts at, like, the end of May, beginning of June, all the way until the uh, beginning of August. And then what do you do during the course of the regular camp here? Well, we do, um, I'm, like, a village director and then an arts and crafts director, so we take care of kids' ages from around 6 all the way up to being 15, getting them ready to be a counselor here, so... And what do you do during the TRC week? TRC week, I am in rowboating. So I rowboat. I take everybody out on rowboat trips. It's absolutely amazing. They get to go and see, you know, parts even past the swimming area. So they get to go. and There's fish that they can look at and see, and they can even, if they want to enough, they can even go and row the boats themselves. So You've done this TRC camp a number of times. Yes, I have, yes. Talk to me, generalize if you can, or, or talk specifically about the experience of the people who come here during this particular week, these four days, and what you have observed about the campers and their experience here. I absolutely love this part of camp. It's literally one of my most favorite parts of camp. It's just an awesome, awesome feeling to know that you're helping somebody out and helping them to have an experience that you might not get to have somewhere else, get to be experiencing such a beautiful place here like Camp Anyasa. And I also love the fact that like they remember you for, for a while, like, I, I work at the mall in Jamestown, and I'll have some of these friends come around and just walk up and say hi to me because they know me from such a while ago, and that's what I find That's what I find, and I love about this group of people. Like, they're just so loving and generous. You're so. an important connection for them. Yes. Where is it that you work the rest I, of the time? I work at Claire's in the mall, and I also work at um, Christopher and Banks in Yankee Candle. So You're a busy young lady. Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Thank you for... I think the assembling is supposed to be happening here right now, and there's some dancing going on, so I'll let you go. But, Jen, thank you 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 very much. Thank you. Have a good one. That was very nice. Thank you. So all the campers have assembled in straight lines, more or less, right under the flagpole here at Camp Aniasa. The ground is marked in lime or with some kind of marking showing them where to stand. Stand in many instances, but not all. There are a number of the camp staff members who are doing a little dance here now. And there are uh, TRC campers who are uh, fitting right in, following that, picking up the dance step right away and moving to the rhythm of the music. Now what? Now we're going to have an assembly. We have an assembly before every uh, assembly. Like, dinner or meal staff activity. Report to the flagpole. It's kind of like a camper check to make sure everybody's accounted for. All campers and staff have been, again, requested to the flagpole, and someone said, let the party begin.
five, six, seven, staff only, please. Okay. Eight. I just want to quickly introduce the well-spoken young woman who was directing this assembly as all the campers gathered around the flagpole here. What is your name? Aaliyah Sample. And Aaliyah, what is your... Do you, should we be walking over here? Uh, Aaliyah, all the campers have been dismissed for a picture. That's what Aaliyah was just doing, and we're walking over to that same area now. You work for Camp Aniasa. What is your role here? I'm the day camp director. This is my fourth summer here, but my first summer as a director. And... Uh, how are you enjoying the TRC camp so far? I love it. It's actually one of my favorite weeks. It's much different. You've done from, this before, then? Yeah, it's my fourth summer doing re- the Resource Center camp, and it's by far one of my favorite weeks. You're not the first person to have said that Very from the staff rewarding. here. But, well, yeah, what is it about this that makes it so rewarding for it's you? It's the people. I mean, camp's a great place with a great mission. It's beautiful. It's on the lake. But it's really the people. And it's not just the staff. And you think we'd be tired at the end of the summer after 10 weeks. But, you know, right before a resource, we just get this burst of energy to help others and serve and share with them this wonderful place. And it's just super rewarding. And it's a beautiful experience for everyone. You're kind of a camper. I can kind of feel that. You have camp in your heart. Yeah, I was a camper here when I was like eight years old or so. What do you do the rest of the time with your life? I attend Fredonia State University where I study education, but I also work at the Y and I'm at camp year-round. So. Oh, really? Here? Yeah. <laughs> Rentals and things like that. I don't even want to think about that other season, but nice. Thank you very much, <laughs> yeah, Aaliyah. Thank nice you. This is Nancy Barr, and she said hello, called my name, so I want to say hello on the radio to you. Okay. Are you having fun so far at camp? Yes, Dennis. You've been here before? Yes, Dennis. What's your favorite part of this? My favorite part of camp yeah. is riding on the boat is one thing. I think I'm supposed to let you go because you're supposed to go over and get in the picture. The next person to be interviewed on this program is here in a number of roles. I'm going to have you say your name for us. I'm Dr. Todd Jacobson. And you are here as a dad and as a a father of one of the campers and also a board member of the Resource Center for many years. Someone with a great uh, commitment to this organization. Somebody who went to camp here uh, myself uh, five years when I was younger. And my father went here when he was younger. So it's uh, kind of a family thing. Your camper daughter is coming up just behind yeah. us now, Maria. Yeah. Hello. How are you? Hi, Dennis. How are you? Fine. Are you ready for camp, Maria? Yeah, I, I am. The radio listeners could not see the look on your face, Maria. But because um, of the picture, that's my, my dear boy here. Yeah, I saw him. He was waiting for you. The photograph was yeah. just taken. What are you most excited about? Oh, it? I love going to camp bonfire. Oh, well, you better get down there then. I think it's going to Yeah. Okay, we'll be there soon. So long, Dad. I got things to do. So the camper says goodbye. So long, Dad. I got to get to the bonfire. That was classic. It, that was classic. I love it. So it's so nice for these kids to enjoy a camping experience that the rest of the uh, students and, and young people enjoy. And uh, at, at the tail end of the Campanasa season here, they, the staff really come out and do a great job uh, with them. And uh, we really appreciate it. What has touched me, and we've been here and done Share the Vision shows before, but what stands out to me this evening as we talk here at Camp Aniasa is not only the experience of the campers and the joy in their faces and what they're looking forward to, but the staff, after I just heard uh, from uh, the day camp director, 10 weeks of camping here, and they're tired, but they look forward to this week because it is such a refreshment for them to have the TRC campers come here. That's Absolutely. what Aliyah just told us. It's totally different than the rest of the camp camping weeks, I think, and uh, it's it's only for four days, so that it's nice too. But uh, it's it's certainly different for them, and it gives them a appreciation for what all these other children are going through, and. Uh, uh, it's just so great for them to get a change of scenery. Uh, uh, they almost all their days are pretty much the same and uh, day structured, and day out, well, structured type of uh, setting. So uh, it's nice to get out here with so much greenery and new things going on. So the other thing that uh, just occurs to me to say is that 
Randy Sweeney made reference to the fact that there's broad community support through the foundation, Chautauqua Region Absolutely. Community Foundation, which he once headed, and the Rotary Club to ensure that this camping experience happens every year. Yeah, we, we certainly need more and more uh, donations to, to improve this uh, uh, camping experience for folks, uh, and, and even even people at home with their uh, parents still uh, that aren't, say they're, they're not housed at the resource center but the, uh, they're still living with their parents and they can have this sort of experience through the rotary club and through other donations so it's, it's certainly important to keep it supported thank you for your time on this beautiful evening at camp on absolutely dennis have a good night hey the applause i better get down to the bonfire absolutely. <laughs> Someone's in with a match, one of those electronic igniters. The bonfire has caught. Remember Jessica, yes? Yes. Jessica Holmes has come by. If, we, if there was any doubt <laughs> in the listeners' minds that, the, uh, that we were at camp, the song being sung right now will assure you that we are really, <laughs> really, <laughs> really here. Jessica Holmes, I have to get serious for a second here. What is your role in all of this? Talk to me about camp, your experiences. Fill in your part of this picture. I'm the camp chair for the community portion of it. So the Resource Center does the main portion of camp where about 50 or so people from the residential homes come in. But then I have, this year, 10 campers that are coming from from the community. They live at home and their families. Dr. Jacobson was just making that point to me, that there are really two different pools from which the campers are drawn to different communities. Yes, and so New Vision Services, we oversee this community portion of camp, and the Rotary actually gives us a grant for these individuals to be able to come and join the rest of the folks who, who come here every year and get to experience this. How was it to, to been? this is your first year coordinating this? Or? This is my fifth year. Oh, so what's it like for the campers to come from home and be here? It's, it's really neat to see because every year we have at least one or two people who have never done it before, and just to watch them kind of looking around and just experiencing the whole camp experience is totally different for them. A lot of them rarely get to go on any sort of vacation at all, so to get them kind of out of their element and show them this, this side of, of camping is really a neat experience. This is a, a meaningful, and you didn't hear the interview with Dr. Jacobson just a moment ago, but you're touching on some of the same things, and that is regardless of whether campers come from home or they come from a resource center setting, their lives are pretty routine, pretty structured, same thing most weekdays of the week, weekends, and this breaks the routine. Exactly, yeah. We had one individual today in my group that he'd never been to camp before, and he you know, he had been here for probably two hours, and just the smile on his face, he's, he's just loving it already. He's having a great time, so it's just nice to be able to stand back and watch that. And how do you do with all, you said five years, so what's the joy for you in being here? Well, I like camping myself, uh-huh. too, so I, I like to come here and watch other people get the joy out of camping. Now, when you say you like camping yourself, uh, do you like the really primitive camping? or? Yes, actually, I go tent camping, like no, no RV, no camper. We no do, running water? We do have bathrooms, so I do have some running water, so not quite that primitive, <laughs> but, but pretty primitive with the tent and the no electric and that type of thing. Well, this is a simple thing that we are observing here as we talk with the, the, the staff leading the songs or the bonfire behind them, and, and the people are really getting into it. They are, and I think this is, a lot of the campers, this is one of their favorite parts, the songs and the bonfire, and uh, it just kind of encompasses the whole camping experience. What is your work at the Resource Center the rest of the time? Or I, at, at New Vision Services? New Vision, yes. I'm the program administrator for New Vision Services, so most of the time I'm working with folks who we do home care for them because they need support in order to stay in their own home rather than going to a nursing home. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Have a great week at camp. You too. Catch back up with Steve Watterson for a second as the uh, songs and the jumping go on here on behalf of the staff at least. It's really quite an interesting show to, to watch. I'm sorry we can't show it to everybody on the radio, but 
I, Karen Silsby tells me about 55 or so campers who are a part of this. I have to quiet down here. But there's a lot of resource center staff and other people who come to support this as well. Absolutely, yeah, because um, most of the folks that are here, all the folks that are spending the night, other than the community campers, are folks that live in group homes. So they've got to have staff for them. We've got staff who are cooking. We've got nurses here. So it really is a team effort from a lot of different people to make sure that everybody who is here at camp can enjoy the camp experience and then they're going to have all of their needs met as well. What you're listening to right now is TRC camper Allie McMahon leading a song of her own and trying to get the rest of the campers to join in. Everybody sing! Safely to the Lord, help me, help me, help me please, for the hunter exterminates me. Denise Jones, Executive Director of the Resource Center, has come to the bonfire. Hello. Hi, Dennis. How are you? Well, enjoying this special moment. I was transfixed a moment or two ago. One of the Resource Center campers stood up and led a song. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes, they're amazing, aren't they? This is a very special week for 55, 60 Resource Center participants and others from the community to come and be a part of this. Just give us your sense of what happens here. Um, My sense of what happens here is that it's the same magic that we all experience when we go to camp. It's a great time to get out of our daily routines, um, get some relaxing, and get back in touch with nature. Um, For some of these individuals, it's the only vacation they'll have all year, so this is just a a tremendous time for them to kick back and relax. One of the things that has come up quite frequently during the course of this program is the fact that there's a broad community support in addition to the... Pause one second here. Great deal of community support on behalf of the Stalker Region Community Foundation, the Rotary Club, and others in order to make sure this happens every year. Absolutely. The Rotary Club, Jamestown Rotary Club, as well as the Stalker Region Community Foundation have been a very instrumental part in us being able to um, have this every year. Have a nice night at camp. Thank you. You as well. A number of the campers stepped up in front of the bonfire to lead some songs here at TRC Camp on the Asset 2018. The camp staff is leading another song right now about bubble gum as we bring this edition of Share the Vision to a close. Thank you for sharing the vision today.